What is going on, lunatics? Guys, like me, the SEC is seeking $5.3 billion from Terraform Labs and Duquan. I've been asking for it for a long time. Like, bros, hook me up. But they haven't. However, I don't think they can say no to the SEC. Uh, gets a little bit weird. And guess what? Yesterday, we gave you a prediction, if you will. Uh, why do I say I'm always right? Uh, duh. So what ended up happening? Duh. So um, we're going to take you through the price action. I'm going to show you exactly what happened. A little bit of news. Uh, then we're going to look at a new project today. We're going to just kind of, uh, we're going to crack the egg on this uh, thing. We'll cover it more in depth over the next couple of days. There's a lot backing it up. There's a lot in the background, a lot people don't know about. And it would be fair to say what I'm doing is firing to you kind of a warning shot that like this might be one of those tokens that you feel is necessary to hold in your bag for a specific reason. And if you like octogenarian uh, lawyers who or judges who cuck for the SEC, it's going to be great for you. You're going to love this one. Anyway, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And uh, let's kick it off. First up in your news, the SEC is seeking a $5.3 billion judgment against Terraform Labs and Duquan. I've been asking them for money every day for years anyway, but uh, they are seeking a lot of money. In the April 19th filing in the U.S. District Court, um, the SEC requested Quan and Terraform pay roughly $4.7 billion in disgorgement and prejudgment interest after the civil case ruling, as well as a combined $520 million in civil penalties 420 for from terraform labs 100 million from kwan the commission terraform and kwan filed briefs of uh, potential remedies so uh, seems like a significant uh, amount and uh the commission uh, they said in these cases crypto firms suggesting a maximum civil penalty of 3.5 million and kwan proposing only 800,000 so uh they're seeking a lot for uh what they've defined as a little so, um, and by the way, it should be noted, multiple attorneys from the SEC have resigned from the SEC for what they've called gross negligence and overreach by the uh, Security and Exchange Commission, resigning after only being there for about two years because of the actions of Gary Gensler. So, it uh, should be noted that this is still a, a, a weird time here in that uh, government employees are quitting in protest of the government overreach from the Security Exchange Commission. Also, the reduction of block size has taken place. So that is going to uh, tackle peer-to-peer -peer scams, um, how that works. So this proposal was permitted by Genuine Labs, um, it, it facing it, reducing the size of the blocks from 5 megabytes to 2 megabytes. So despite the collective effort to combat rising phishing attacks and peer-to-peer -peer scams, Terra Classic Developer act actively uh, activity has significantly plunged since March 29, 2024, pointing to 2.95, uh, the calm period, according to a 32.7% price drop in Lunk over the past 30 days. Apart from this setback, Terra Classic social metrics have been overshadowed by competing altcoins and meme coins, as Lunk is now positioned in a historically low position, ranking number 140 in terms of global market cap with a 644 market capitalization uh lunk is far from the billion mark last claimed in mid-march so you know, we've seen a little bit of enthusiasm wane and it's very easy because this is a risk on asset until we really get a vibrant ecosystem and those are the things that i'm trying to point out to you every day that there is a thriving ecosystem and that there are builders out here building nevertheless let's move on we've got a few more uh we've got a few more pieces here ban religion from lunk governance well that's not something that you can do that's not freedom doesn't work that way. Uh, it works that way in that you ignore people who are doing stuff like that. You don't uh, try to ban them and stop them. Also, there's a new comment system in the Terra Classic blockchain uh, that uh, I haven't checked this out, but this is a reason to get it done. Um, rebate program for burning. Ultimate repeg plan is being put out. Uh, we do have an actual repeg plan. Now, by the way, we're going to get into this one tomorrow, but there is a repeg for conversation right now. Um, and again, you're starting to see a lot of uh, a lot of different proposals popping up. Will they make it to governance? I don't know. Uh, but Terraform Labs, if you're listening, if I had five point three billion dollars, maybe we could make that happen. I kid. Anyway, let's look at price action. 
All right, guys, what I told you was going to happen was we had bounced around the 618. We're in the golden pocket. What I would see at this point would be a move up into the 786 at 11,742, and then a swift rejection back down. And then uh, it would kind of, I think I said, bing bong around at some point. Uh, and I'm not sure if I go back here, uh, we can show you yesterday's. But if you haven't already, you can certainly check out yesterday's because uh, I did have a lot of chart patterns drawing out on this thing. Uh, to, to show you what I thought was getting ready to happen. So um, anyway, so Fib retracement is at the 786. Uh, we got the swift rejection. Uh, what it would look like would be a, a move lateral and then up above for a retest and then a breakout into uh, this next range, next range being 13.020. So that's what I think is going to happen on the next one. Sentiment starting to change a little bit. And we felt some we felt some negative pushback, but doesn't seem to be sustaining. So I think there's some some good action getting ready to happen. Good positive momentum, and of course, uh, the bull run is almost here. Uh, you know, I think another 30 days, and we'll be looking back at this and saying, "Wow, that was intense. That was crazy." Uh, I, I by the way, we do have until we break this trend, uh, we do have a reduction in the top value, of course. Um, pulling it out about here. So depending on how soon, how quickly we 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 start pumping into that range, uh, you're going to see that sort of, um, you're going to see that kind of move right there. Again, a big move up here. Rejection somewhere around that 22, 23 range if we get that breakout. And then it would be a matter of, at that point, I don't mean that it's going to reject. I just mean that it would be cause for a retest around this range right here. And then if we can get more momentum, then we break out above it, bing bong around, and then take off from there. So that's what the price action should look like coming forward. Uh, as far as governance proposals, of course, the restore IBC to Kajira is done. Uh, 10xing the gas fees. Now, now by the way, talk to a lot of validators who are not really happy with this. That this is going to reduce a lot of uh, traffic on this network. So this could be a a a problem for the community going forward and might have to be revisited because we've already 5x the gas fees and now you're making it cost prohibitive to build on this network and by that i mean that some of these guys have to pay their own gas fees in order to make these projects run and if the projects can't run because it's too expensive well then they have to go somewhere else or they have to do something else so um, remember when we're building on this network has to be thriving and vibrant. Um, I still think the fees are, are, are low. Um, but when you start to do thousands of fees every day, then that of course adds up, even if it's a penny, then you're spending 10, 20, 30, $40 a day. So you have to have volume. You have to have stuff like that. So when you have light volume, like Luna classic chain it makes it cost prohibitive. So, uh, probably keep an eye on this one. Cause this might be a problem. Um, and then we have the minimum 2.5% commission. Looks like it's achieving, uh, it, it looks like it's probably going to achieve uh, its threshold here. It is in pass mode. So unless some guys step in and try to, you know, um, change it. And we, no, we did this, by the way, with 5% at some point, not, not that long ago. So you know, we'll see how this goes. I, I mean, I think it got repealed almost right away from somebody else. So um, interesting times. I'll just say that. And, and we'll see how this sort of plays out. Um, now, as far as volume goes, we're up on volume, uh, market cap up tiny bit, but the volume is the important part. We're at 51 million. So there's some interest happening right now and a big spike that happened last night, uh, volume on USTC also a little bit up long dash. Uh, you can see how everybody is voting 10 xing the gas fees. I think everybody's probably, uh, most of the validators, uh, interestingly enough, um, voted yes on it because it makes it prohibitive to build guys. Here's what you should do. Look at the people who are voting no, like all nodes. And if we think that all nodes is probably looking out for the, the 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 ecosystem, if we like Galactic Shift, if we like Vegas nodes, if we like Luna Classic Labs, if we like all the companies that are building Happy Caddy Crypto on this node, on this network, if we like these people, then it should be noted that the people that we quote unquote may not like or something like that, those are the ones that are voting yes to raise those fees, either by greed or need to stifle creativity. And, and it's for you to decide for yourself. I'm just pointing this out, um, that we are getting this, this voting power uh, to, to pass this to, you know, perhaps, I don't know if, I don't know if this case, but, um, you know, when I start looking at how the voting goes, and I see some of these, what I call bad actors out here, voting yes to something, I have to ask myself why, 
and why are the people that we we tend to like why are they voting no uh why are they voting no with le- with with veto including uh diamond hands you know so there's so you know these guys are are real concerned about this so uh, we have to ask ourselves why we have to look at all the uh, the pieces. So look for yourself, decide for yourself. Uh, validating uh, as far as the tracker goes, 327 million over the last couple of days, 110 billion total. Um, uh, we'll probably we're not going to see another big one until weeks, which is located down below. And Terra Casino and all these other guys start to do their monthly burns. So by the way, the easiest place for you to burn crypto tokens by other than Binance right now is weeks w-e-e-x and terra casino located right here terra casino uh, if you go there uh, for your gaming experience by the way you can use bitcoin you can use ethereum you can use several different tokens you should go check this out by the way and when you're trading uh guess what happens your trades they get converted into luna classic and then burned so if you're interested in a unique gaming experience then this is where you should come and this is where you should try your hand at it because Everything that you do here is going to help the Luna Classic ecosystem. Now, let's move on to what is the token of the day. And that token is Rakoff. Now, Rakoff is named after Judge Jed Rakoff. That's the octogenarian. Um, Let's just call him Judge because I don't have words that I can use to describe him at this point. But Jed Rakoff is the octogenarian 82-year-old judge who is overseeing the Terra Luna Cla- Ter- the Terraform Labs case, and uh, you know, I think this is very very funny what they're they're doing with it because they turned him into a meme, which he deserves to be at this point. Uh, but the only but the other important thing to it is is not only is there a token, there's an, a growing and, and and thriving sort of ecosystem building out of it. And I told you that we would get into it. Well, the first part of that is Rakoff, uh, as you can see right here is now a validator, has 0.08%. So if you're interested in this, and there's going to be, um, uh, this is a CW20 uh, tribute to the great Judge Rakoff (laughs) for all lunkheads and lunatics. So, and of course, we don't want Terraform, look, we want Terraform Labs. Uh, We would like to use them for the rub. It should be noted here. We want them for the rub of positivity that might come from it. But remember, they are a bad actor in this range here uh, as far as we're concerned because they do not want luna classic to survive they want to make luna thrive and in order to do that they're going to need investors from luna classic in order to start building their um, holders so they're not the good actor that i sometimes pretend that they are just keep that in mind uh, anyway uh, rakoff uh, now has a validator and here is the price action right here uh, and and as you can see i mean you 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 know, no matter what you think of, of of the name or anything like that, you just can continue to see this thing rise and rise and rise. And, you know, I've been hearing about it for days and days and days, and it just continues to move on and move on and move on. Low liquidity, not a, not a huge trading volume, but the uh, it's a million dollar market cap. And uh, it's named after the guy who's coming after, I mean, it's coming after the SEC is using him as a pocket uh, patsy in order for their, for their crypto. But... Guys, the bull run is almost here. The halving is almost here. The Hong Kong Ethereum ETF is almost here. You like ERC-20. We all like ERC-20. And the best way for you to accumulate more ERC-20 tokens or more Bitcoin, it's cryptonomy.finance. If you've been here before, you know that I've been talking about a lot of these tokens. There's over 400 that you can choose from. They offer an exchange with the be- with the best rates uh, without commissions and support from a highly qualified support and trading team 24-7. And this is available to every participant. Of course, you get immediate support if you are a VIP. And you can deposit UST into your cryptonomy account. And then you can start to buy the desired assets that you want to use over here and exchange them as needed. Over 400 of them. And... There's going to be a lot of updates coming out over the next couple of days, weeks, and months. So guys, if you are looking to advance your crypto portfolio, you need more tokens. Why not let the tokens that you currently have work for you? Go to cryptonomy.finance, sign up today, and let it grow. There's so much more to this ecosystem that I'm going to be laying out for you over the next couple of days. So if you haven't checked it out, you should certainly go check out Rakeoff Token. Uh, I'm going to put the contract address in the in the. Uh, comments down below. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll make it easy for you so that you can go check it out. Of course, go to Coin Hall if you want to uh, track it, and it's a uh, hashtag Rakoff R A K O F F. So that's it. Um, it. You know, Duquan got to pay a lot of money. Terraform Labs got to pay a lot of money. 
Terraform Labs should have paid me a lot of money a long time ago, and maybe they could have saved themselves a little bit, just give money to America. You know what I mean? Anyway, not really, but here we are. So let's uh, let's wrap this up. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, check out Weeks if you're looking for uh, burning. Uh, check out Terra Casino if you're looking for even more burning. Uh, and you can use your Bitcoin, you can use your Ethereum, you can use a lot of different tokens over here uh, when you do your gaming experience. So, um, and, and don't forget, if you want to do some trading, Terraport.finance will help you and ease your way through that process. They have decent liquidity over there, uh, decent liquidity, especially for um, the, the decentralized sort of finance exchange that we are right now. So we don't, we don't have too many DEXs out here, uh, and this one's got a sufficient amount of liquidity or a fair amount of liquidity. And uh, that's it. So check it out, and we'll talk to you again very soon.